Hey, what's up? T R O Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to the project. So, I was just standing here staring at my laser. I realized I wanted to cut or engrave something that I didn't make. But what? Nope, nah, not yet. But one day. Where's my back scratch? I think I found something to engrave on. We have a problem. The back scratcher is actually slanted, but we need it to be level. But if it's level, I'm pretty sure this is too close to the laser beam. Six and a half hours later. Overthinking. To spend more time thinking about something than is necessary. Sometimes, I swear, I be overthinking too much. <laughs> All I had to do was move the back scratcher over to the side right there to let that unlevel part hang off the side of the cutting bed and I'm pretty sure it'll be leveled enough to engrave on it. But now we need a design, a quote, or something to put on the back scratcher. Okay, I have the back scratcher inside of the Glowforge. I had this skeleton arm design that I was going to put on the Glowforge, but now I want to use Glowforge's new feature called Glowforge Print. I'm basically going to put I love back scratchers, but instead of spelling out the word love, I'm going to use a heart. I love back scratchers. Also, I didn't know what settings to use for this bamboo back scratcher. So I just went with thick maple plywood. These are the settings right here. Draft graphic, 100% full power, 1000 speed engraving. This is gonna take six minutes and 21 seconds. All right, here we go. We only got one shot. Perfect. like the bullet head while engraving through the camera angle all while the eye was behind the hole instead of in front of the hole like it was on my computer in the comments right now let me know if you want me to try to engrave or cut some other unusual items like the back scratcher because that was a lot of fun and i really enjoyed it and if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next project